Ready? Talking boxing with Mr. A. We're doing a breakdown of prediction for the IBF, the vacant IBF female super welterweight title between an empress and the merciless. Let's get into it. Alicia, the empress Napoleon versus Mary, the merciless McGee. Now on paper, you're looking at a 21 and three McGee versus a seven and one Napoleon. You know, this is a definitely big step up in that regard for uh, Alicia. Um, now, Mary is, I believe this is her second fight or maybe third fight from her uh, comeback from giving birth. She was off two years and I think this is going to be her third fight back. I'm not too sure, but no more than her third fight back. You know, she fought two, two basically uh, bounce back fight four rounders that she should win just to get her back in shape. You know, shake off some of that mother weight, get, get, get some of that ring rest, get her timing back. That's how her two fights were. So this title shot, as much as she wanted it, I'm pretty sure it's coming sooner than she expected. But that warrior in her, she's going to take that shot. Now, Alicia just coming off a Tori Nelson loss. Ain't no shame in that. She showed great movement, but I saw so many things where I think she probably could have done better. One, one, I don't know, but she could have done better. Um, let's see, McGee is real interesting. I think she has the hand speed to score points and combinations and escape. But she fights kind of stiff legged and her head is up high. So I don't think she can score points and uh, use the ring as a walkabout. Say, uh, Ari Landis Lara, who's another mover out there? Um, uh, Andre Ward against Kovalev. Someone who's gonna use the ring. Now, as far and then, and we, if you saw the uh, Napoleon and Nelson fight, you saw even though it was more of a get away from the power of Nelson, you saw Alicia could use the ring with her legs, some big ass legs too, and we're gonna get more into those legs. So on ring generalship, uh, or just feet and leg feet movement, I'm gonna give the edge to Alicia. I think it's gonna come heavy. A heavy advantage in this fight now as far as hand speed I'm gonna give it to McGee she can score um, bunches and punches of punches and bunches I believe and she has she could get away but I just don't know if she could get away that's it as far as in power this is a tricky one cause you see the physique of Alicia and you think she has the power you see the nice little small um, out of not the best shape like I said just coming back from motherhood McGee so you wonder how 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 much did her muscle memory get back in shape is she going is she going to be able to have that snap now what I noticed in Alicia she won't punch if her leg doesn't come forward first she steps forward with her right leg to plant power on it and then she punches if that leg don't come the punch don't come so like I said Maybe to me and you, it's nothing, but to a fighter with that red flag, McGee could just tag points and leave. If that, if that leg's not there, she could just leave. And you would think how big of a, you know, a good physique Alicia has, she'll have more power in her punches. You know, maybe it was just a big girl in Tori Nelson who could take it, but it didn't look too, as I said, if that leg don't come forward, she don't punch. And, and if she can't plant that leg, she can't turn her punches. So if McGee is sitting there scoring, which I think she can, those bunches and punches, I mean punches and bunches, Alicia won't have the chance. She could put the leg forward, but she won't plant it and she won't turn her punches and the power won't be there. So I'm thinking with that in mind and Alicia giving that red flag away, she's going to have to use her legs to move and pressure McGee. 
Because I don't think McGee is quite ready yet in the career from her comeback for this opportunity. I don't think she's going to be stamina-wise. Uh, muscle memory is going to be up to what it used to be. And I think Alicia could use her active, her active streak and just use her, um, her, her size, her physical strength against McGee. Put her against the ropes and just kind of, that's where she could use her strength on her. I'm picking Alicia and uh, Empress McGee. I'm Empress, I'm picking Alicia the Empress Napoleon to be victorious over the Merciless McGee by a, um, I say majority decision. Here on WRT Boxing, this is Mr. A and the new IBF Super Walterweight Female Champion. Mr. A's gone with Alicia. Napoleon by a majority decision. Thank you for your support. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? Mr. A is out. Please subscribe.